Hi, welcome to LS Retail Unified Commerce Platform and why you need it for your business. My name is Matthias Matthiasson, a Product Director at LS Retail. With me here is Pieter Sigurdsson, Product Director also at LS Retail. At LS Retail, we create unified software solutions for retail and hospitality. We have been doing it for over two decades constantly, moving at the speed of change. Our unified commerce system combines e-commerce, m-commerce, order and inventory management, customer relationship management, point of sale, also known as PaaS, and much more. In short, all the capabilities you need in just one platform. With a unified commerce system, you put the customer experience central states in the simplest way possible. You don't have to worry about the implementation and maintain many systems. And you don't have to waste time to look at the data you need across dozens of different databases. Management gets real-time, accurate information, and you can offer a true omni-channel experience. Now, let's show you our latest version of our solutions where you can see how we are improving the LSNAV Unified Commerce Platform for retailers to provide a unified, seamless shopping experience. Let's look at LSNAV 2018, also known as 1104, on Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2018. The store stock redistribution, the retailer can redistribute stock from overstocked stores to understocked stores. This improves sales performance, improves service quality, and is easy to maintain the appropriate stock levels in the stores. Now we can define which store can either ship an order or have it collected by the customer. If a customer purchases an item in an out-of-stock store, he can then collect it at a later date or have it shipped. LSNAV PAUSE web version now supports all three form factors, stationary PAUSE, tablet, and mobile phone. We have one code base in NAV. This gives the partner the ability to customize or create add-ons that work in all three form factors. Introducing the LSNAV app can run on tablets and phone devices. It contains the web interface for the LSNAV pause and also gives the access to the resources like EFT terminal, barcode scanners, internal and Bluetooth printers, all in one device or multiple devices. In 11.04, we release a demo version of the iOS app for look and feel. It supports POS interface. Device support will be la released later. The Android app is ready for implementations. It includes the POS interface and full support for devices. Let's look at a demo video with three devices. EFT terminal, LSNAV POS on a phone device, and a Bluetooth printer. The user logs on to the POS, selects some items, totals the transaction with a credit card, customer inserts the card and accepts. The FT terminal approves the transaction. Printer prints the transaction and credit slip. We have done some hardware station improvements, which are mostly used by the stationary pause. Added HTTPS for secure communications. We now support Windows printers. The new LSPay connection includes a new payment providers. Now we have a development package to assist the partners in creating customer EFT connections to the hardware station. 
LS Pay is now available for the Windows Pass through Hardware Station. 2017 changes are included in a FOB file which partners can use for downgrading the older versions. I have already talked about LSNAV Pause on LSNAV app, which is not replacing the mobile retail app that is still in full development. We added return by receipt and staff permissions. Let's look at a short video. User 103 logs in. Add some items. Give total discount of 5%. Then changes the discount to 50%. The system asks for a manager authorization as the user is not allowed to give more than 10% discount. The 15% is applied to this transaction. Streamline your kitchen. Pause hashtags can now be displayed on the KDS. Improve the workflow. Item starts at one station and finishes at another. Better overview on served items. You might want to serve the kids meals first. Time shown in a percentage and not just minutes. Clear view of upcoming items. You have three hamburgers on the grill and you can see Five additional hamburgers coming. You can plan your work better. We have full hospitality functionality on a phone size device. Let's look at how you split a bill. Open a table for two. Enter the order with modifiers and deals. Send the order to the kitchen. When they want to pay, they want a separate check. Split the check at the table and get payment. We are making progress in taking LSNV code out of the standard Microsoft code. One of these steps is to take out the inventory management worksheets. Don't worry, we will still have the store inventory worksheets that are easier, simpler and faster. We can't stress enough, do not change standard code, neither Microsoft or LSNV. Use event and extension technology. Business Central. Microsoft introduced Business Central for the cloud last April. Now available in over 16 countries. Business Central is hosted in Microsoft Dynamics 365 cloud. Next month, Microsoft will introduce Business Central for on-premises which will be available for all the same countries as the Microsoft Dynamics NAV is. Now the customer has the choice to self-host, host at a third-party hosting service, or in the Azure cloud. LS Retail will offer LSNAV for Business Central with the same functions and technology. Hosted in the same Dynamics 365 cloud, as Microsoft Business Central. The in-cloud service will be made available in US, Denmark and Germany during quarter four of this year. We will only be able to support online pause to begin with. Additional countries will follow. LSNAV on Business Central on premises will also be launched in quarter four this year available in all the same countries as LSNV 2018. 
all three POS architectures will be supported. We are working on a hybrid offering, which we plan to release in quarter two next year, around Connection Munich. You will then be able to utilize the cloud for head and store back office. Then choose online, offline, or store POS services, or a combination. What is your destiny, your future? Is it in cloud, on-premises, or hybrid? Online pause, offline pause, or store pause service. We offer LSNAV 2018 and LSNAV for Business Central. Choose any solution, we will support you in your journey. Utilize event and extension technology, and all your customization and add-ons will be automatically moved. Standard upgrade processes will be used for standard Microsoft and LSNAV functionality, as long as there are no changes to standard code. Participate in the development of retail and hospitality with LS Retail. Thank you. Now, over to Pieter, who will talk about e-commerce and LS Pay. Thank you very much, Matthias, for this great overview. E-commerce. As we all know, e-commerce plays an ever-important role in today's retail environment. And e-commerce is indeed an indispensable part of our unified commerce strategy. With online sales now accounting for a big percentage of all total retail sales and growing, we at LS Retail fully recognize the importance of e-commerce as we have been investing heavily in building our e-commerce support from the ground up, enabling LSNAV to support modern day e-commerce. Let's see the big picture on how LSNAV supports e-commerce, starting with LSNAV itself, where we have introduced numerous new elements, features and workflows to support e-commerce. If we take a few examples, we might mention that Infrastructure-wise, we have added the ability to scale out on service tiers, being able to respond to changes in traffic on your site, like during Black Friday, for example. New elements that we've added. Here, we might mention our new dynamic item hierarchy, especially tailored to e-commerce. We might mention multiple language support and allowing the same legal entity to run multiple web shops from the same instance of LSNAV a very useful feature if you're dealing in multiple brands where each brand needs its own website. And also, we have done a lot of work in extending our current features out to the web. Here, I could mention all our loyalty elements, our price and discount structures, coupons, variants, attributes, and basically all our retail elements that now need to have visibility on the web. On top of LSNAV, we have the Omni server, exposing our e-commerce API, our single point of entry into LSNAV for everything e-commerce. Here, we are delivering a modern API offering both SOAP and RESTful JSON-based web services. Through this API, we allow the e-commerce platforms the ability to replicate and synchronize data to their local databases. We allow them to calculate the basket using the transaction calculation engine in LSNAV. We allow them to post transactions in real time and also to do real time inventory lookups to name a few examples. So this is what we would describe as our backend, but a great e-commerce site is all about the user experience and there the e-commerce platform plays a huge role. So, Let's look at our supported e-commerce platforms. By default, LS Retail supports three official e-commerce platforms, Magento, Avencia Storefront, and Dynamic Web. First, by popular demand, is Magento, one of the world's leading e-commerce platforms. We at LS Retail are focusing on version two of the Magento platform, with a preliminary release being released now on October the 1st. 
Also, we have strategically teamed up with two e-commerce companies providing their solutions on the Microsoft technology stack. Avencia, with their storefront solution based on AppiServer, and Dynamic Web, which have their own, own local solution. Both are prominent companies with a long history and a large footprint when it comes to integrating with the Dynamics platform. And both of these companies are in the process of building their integrations to LS Retail. Avencia has just started working on phase two of their integration and Dynamic Web is releasing the first version of their integration in the first week of November. So stay tuned as we will publish more news on these releases shortly. But how exactly do these platforms integrate with LSNEV? For Magento, our in-house platform, we have our own team of Magento developers building the LS Retail extension into Magento. The role of this extension is to handle all communication with the Omni server and introduce all the elements found in LSNEV into Magento. That is, for a lack of a better word, teaching Magento how to deal with our prices and discounts, our loyalty points, our means of checking out with click and collect, etc, etc. Basically, incorporating our retail elements into the e-commerce platform. And then, Dynamic Web and Avencia are equally responsible for creating and maintaining their own similar integration modules into LSNAV. The thing to note here is that all these e-commerce platforms share the same e-commerce API. So all features and data is consistent between the platforms. But what about other e-commerce platforms? LS Retail builds on an open architecture when it comes to e-commerce. And in fact, we offer any third-party e-commerce provider to integrate with LSNAV, exposing the exact same API as we use for our official solutions. So whether it's Hybris, Demandware, WooCommerce, or just any other solution, anyone can integrate with LSNAV. And in fact, we have two companies building integrations already. In Norway, we have a third-party company building an integration to NotCommerce for a local client. And we have teamed up with Virtual Logistics, a Canadian firm specializing in software integrations, to create an integration to Shopify. This will add support for Shopify and Shopify Plus, their enterprise platform, in potentially all regions where Shopify is supported. Before we leave the context of which e-commerce options are available, let's have a word on licensing. Our e-commerce licensing is quite simple and transparent. That is, the only element LS Retail licenses is the e-commerce API itself. Let's take two examples to clarify. Let's say we have a customer that chooses Magento as the e-commerce platform. Then the customer must purchase the mandatory license for the e-com API as per our price list. And please note that we do not license our Magento extension and this source code is made fully available to our partners for free. But moving on, if the customer chooses the open source or the community edition of Magento, then there is no cost towards Magento. But if the customer chooses the commerce or the enterprise edition of Magento, then there is licensing cost as per Magento's price list. And for the second example, a customer chooses Dynamic Web or Avencia Storefront. This means that the customer purchases the mandatory license for the Ecom API as per our price list, and the customer also purchases the needed front needed front-end modules as per Dynamic Web's or Avencia's price lists. So the main rule is as follows. LS Retail licenses the e-commerce API, and then there might be license costs associated with the selected e-commerce platform in question. But speaking about the Magento platform and our LSNAV extension, as many of you know, we have been building our support for the Magento platform for quite some time now. 
first starting our work on the 1.9 version and then effectively starting again from scratch as Magento reworked their platform when moving to the 2. Point something versions. But now things are finally coming together and we would like to announce a preliminary release of our LS Retail Magento extension on October the 1st. Now, what preliminary means is that we still have some work to do before we can run an e-commerce site out of the box as the intention is with this extension. But we have progressed far enough to share the source code with our partners, allowing you to get acquainted with our work and starting your Magento projects. In other words, the core elements such as data replication, basket calculation and transaction posting are firmly in place, but we are continuously working on implementing all the retail elements and workflows we would like to support in our initial release. And as I said, we will release our preliminary version of the Magento extension on October the 1st, making it available on our partner portal. But let's look a little bit better at the extension and see what's supported in this release. Well, the first thing to mention here is that our extension supports version 2.x of Magento and version 1.9 is not supported. So, as I said, the role of this extension is to handle all communication with the OmniServer and introduce our retail elements into Magento. So if we quickly run through some of the supported features, then our extension supports replication and synchronization of all data elements, we have full support for the item master, meaning that our product pages support all our retail elements, such as detailed product descriptions, variants, attributes, etc. And then we also have support for the new dynamic hierarchy as well, especially tailored towards e-commerce. On the loyalty side, we have support for my account, showing the loyalty points balance, clubs and schemes, and then we have full support for our price and discount model, and especially so in our shopping basket, where we connect to the LSNAV transaction calculation engine, ensuring that all prices and discounts remain consistent across the channels. Then during checkout, we have support for click and collect, as well as support for checking out with PayPal, and checking out with any generic payment module from the Magento ecosystem. And finally, our extension supports a responsive user interface, ensuring a pleasant experience when browsing on a mobile device. So what's next in line? On our roadmap, we have ambitious plans to add more features. If we name a few examples, then we will further develop payments and shipping to support the upcoming workflows in LSNAV. We will further work on the look and feel of our demo site. Today, we currently support skins and themes, but the intention here is to create a really beautiful demo-friendly site. And then it's just a case of adding more features. Cancellations and returns, proactive discount recognition, support for LS Recommend, the ability to pay with loyalty points, supporting gift cards, and more of the same. And finally, we will include support for the enterprise version of Magento, now known as Magento Commerce. So as we have seen, there are quite a few options when it comes to selecting the ideal e-commerce platform. On the Microsoft technology stack, we have Avencia Storefront and we have Dynamic Web. And then on the Magento platform, we have our own LSNAV extension into Magento, plus the ability to engage third-party Magento implementers to further build on our work. And last but not least, if none of these options apply, then any e-commerce vendor out there can integrate with LS Retail. So from the e-commerce perspective, when it comes to your e-commerce choices, we are ensuring total flexibility. So now that we've had a look at e-commerce, let's turn our attention to LS Pay, where we are proudly announcing the availability of LS Pay for LSNAV. The 1104 release of LSNAV marks a milestone, as LS Pay is now officially supported on the LSNAV platform. As some of our partners know, 
we have had recent support for a few payment service providers through direct integration. But this release sees the onset of LSNAV integrating LS Pay into the new hardware station, which in our view is the proper architecture to build on for the future. The hardware station now hosts the LS Pay engine, meaning that LSNAV will benefit from all integrations to payment service providers made by LS Pay in the future. That is, from LSNAV, we only integrate one to LS Pay and then all future PSP integrations will become readily available in LSNAV. So how does this link to different versions of LSNAV? Well, as I said, LS Pay is now hosted by the hardware station and therefore we need, we need to take a look at how various versions of LSNAV support the hardware station. So if we start with version 2018, then the hardware station is a default component in this version, both for the traditional and the new web POS, making LS Pay support it right out of the box. Then for older versions of LSNAV, we are releasing a blueprint fob that incorporates the hardware station into LSNAV 2017 and our partners that can then use this fob as a blueprint for incorporating the hardware stations into older versions, thereby enabling support for LS Pay. With LS Pay, we have all platforms supported, whether it's the traditional point of sale or the new web POS, stationary or mobile. And if we look at support for Android and iOS, then LS Pay is fully supported through the new LSNAV app running the web POS on a mobile device. And of course, we have support for the LS Omni mobile POS running, running natively on these mobile platforms. So as LS Pay is now supported by LSNAV, let's look at the available payment service providers. Initially, we are focusing on Europe and especially the Nordics, with PayX and Afterpay as the main PSPs. PayX operates in the Nordics, offering the Ingenico IPP350 as its main stationary terminal and the ISMP device as its mobile counterpart. Afterpay then operates in the Nordics as well, but also offers support for most European countries. Again, the Ingenico IPP350 is the terminal of choice for the stationary platform, but when it comes to mobility, Afterpay gives us the all-encompassing PAX A920 mobile device, which we are currently building support for and will release in version 11.05 of LSNAV. Then finally, in the US, we have base support for Verifone, where we are further extending our feature set to support elements, for example, like gift cards. So with LS Pay, we have reached a milestone. The LS Pay engine is ready, we have incorporated LS Pay into LSNAV, and the first PSP modules or plugins are in place. Now what this means is that the base is there, and now our task is to add support for more payment service providers and also to make the solution available in other regions. So let's go ahead and see how this picture looks when we have added the next batch of PSPs, namely the ones that we are currently building integrations to. In the Nordics, we are further adding to our offering by introducing Verifone Nordics and Nets. Then, we are adding support for WorldPay in their supported European countries, such as the UK and Germany. And importantly, we are building an integration with Adyen, giving us an enormous geographic reach. Then, looking further, we have on our roadmap to offer services also for Canada, the Middle East and Africa, and also to enable mobile wallets such as Alipay and WeChat Pay for the APAC region. For LS Pay, the objective is simple. For each of our main regions, we aim to support multiple PSPs, so when it comes to selecting a payment partner, our customers have a choice. We would also like to remind you to register for Connection Munich that will take place in the beginning of April 2019. At Connection, you will hear more about our unified commerce solutions LSNAV built on Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central, and much more. 
And on top of keynotes and sessions, for the first time ever, we will offer different kinds of business and technical focused intensive workshops on LS Retail products and solutions. I do hope to see you there.